Hey everyone, this is Julie. How's it going? I want to show you something very, very cool, so please pay attention to this. Um, I keep talking about setting up your bars to match the volatility. And what you can do is you can experiment with the bar size. Crude tra trades in penny increments, 10 cents. So 5 cents, 10 cents, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, all the way up to a dollar or a hundred. Um, so a good bar size is 25. So five and 20 is 25. And that'll give you a nice doji and give you a, a chance to make some money on a trade. So if you can find some volatility in your favor, the wind behind your back, and you get a doji. Uh, candle close in that direction. This is the time to enter a trade, especially with momentum sloping in your direction. Uh, we got two dojis here as price went into a little consolidation and you can see the inflection and the momentum and then the momentum, momentum kept going back down. So the um, trade is over when either you get the doji or the momentum inflection back up. But I wanted to show you this, if you will pay attention and look at this, the momentum inflection occurs before the doji close. So momentum precedes price. So on my momentum indicator, you will see that momentum inflection on that bar close. So before you can get in the trade, the trade did not trigger until the next bar closed. So you wouldn't have been able to get in until the close of the next bar, but the trade signaled on this inflection the bar before Pretty cool, huh? So um, watch these on your larger bars, and that way you can get like a breakout, volatility breakout, breaks the volatility with momentum. Um, you notice the um, volatility band hugs it, and it's vertical. The slope is just as vertical as it can be. This is like definitely tradable. And you can either just take your longs, but you don't want to take them here. You would want to take them on your smaller time frame chart. And just take them here on your lower time frame on those inflections. So that's managing a trade with momentum, volatility, and um, slope. So this is July 12th. Let me pull over here and make sure I'm at the right place. Nope. That must be it. Yep. So look at all these signals. It's just incredible. Once a trend condition can be identified on a higher time frame, that's when we want to come in the market and hit it. So here at 620. you can see this pullback. So um, the place to buy is as close as possible to the volatility as you can possibly time it on the lower time frame. And again, the inflection occurs before the bar closes. You see that? So, um, 
pay attention to the momentum inflections and then you can come in here and just um, nail your reversals long or short whichever way you're going all right well I hope you um, enjoy experimenting with your bars and getting that volatility to stand in attention like this because this is what you want to trade when we can catch those and please look at the website at J Auto Trading Strategies uh, for the risk disclosure and hypothetical performance disclaimer and test any strategy in simulation mode before you trade it live in your account absolutely get used to the strategy get used to the bars and um, get used to how to trade them and set your charts up to go um, in the direction of the trade using the two time frames the multiple time frames and the market analyzer you can just change to that chart the 6e and you know you're going to be looking for shorts all right thank you so much and be sure and pick up a template thank you so much